Hello everybody, welcome back to my page. I am your favorite dentist, Dr. Dinesh Raja. Today we are going to talk about something very basic but something many people do it wrong. So, before we start, what do we need to brush our teeth properly? Firstly, a toothbrush. How do you brush your teeth with a toothbrush, right? So, what would we recommend is a soft bristle toothbrush. Why can't I use a hard bristle toothbrush? First thing is, it will injure your gums and it will injure your teeth. Do not believe me, I put a picture up here, somewhere here, okay? So that is what will happen when you use a hard bristle toothbrush or you use too much force, excessive force to brush your teeth. So, soft bristle toothbrush. Okay, other than your conventional toothbrush, you can also you can also use a mechanical toothbrush but a mechanical toothbrush is not for everybody if you can afford it go ahead use a mechanical toothbrush but if you can't afford it you can always use a normal toothbrush okay, studies have shown that the use of a normal toothbrush has produced similar results than a mechanical toothbrush so if you're using a normal toothbrush there is no reason why you can't keep your teeth clean Moving on, now we're going to talk about toothpaste. So, you can use whatever brand you want to use. Today, I'm going to show you all something from Colgate. Not that I'm sponsored, I just have a lot of them. So, usually the toothpaste that we recommend are fluoridated. Don't matter what brand, don't matter what company, don't matter what the flavor, as long as the toothpaste is fluoridated. It will be written on the packaging itself, like here, it's written as fluoride toothpaste. First of all, fluoride it increases the strength of the tooth and it prevents acidic erosion. All of us know, most of the food we eat contains sugar. And this sugar, when it reacts with bacteria that is in our mouth, will lead to production of acid. So, this acid is what causes our tooth to break. So, this toothpaste containing fluoride will not only harden our teeth but it will make our teeth much more resistant to this acid breakdown which means it takes a longer action of this acid to break down our teeth. This is why we usually recommend a fluoridated toothpaste. Before we start brushing our teeth, how much toothpaste should you apply on your toothbrush? This is not a toothpaste app. You don't need toothpaste the whole length of your toothbrush. So, the amount that is required is a pea size. So, what's a pea size? That is a pea size. That is all you need. Let me show you what are the surfaces that you need to brush. The outer surface, the inner surface, the biting surface, and don't forget your tongue. So I will be using my hand as a reference to the tongue. If you brush your teeth the same way that you wash your plate, you are actually doing it wrong. Start off by holding your toothbrush at a 45 degree angle. Place it at a position where it touches the gums and also the teeth, similar to what I'm showing right now. Vibrate it or massage the gums slowly it should be touching the gums and the teeth and then in one motion swish it down start from the backmost teeth and then make your way forward okay this is similar to your lower teeth as well massage your gums at a 45 degree angle while you're against the tooth and then push it upwards okay do it similarly to the front teeth as well Doing the inner surface is also similar for the back feet, which means you switch and then you push up for the back and push downwards. But when you're washing your front feet, you do it in such a way where you just put your brush in and pull it up. Put your brush in and pull it up. Then move on to your biting surface where you brush it and clean it of all the debris. Okay, lastly, I'm 
using a tongue as a representation brush your tongue there is something called as a tongue cleaner which not many people buy if you don't have one you can always use the back of your toothbrush but if your if the back of your toothbrush is not serrated like this you can always use your bristle but for this you do not, do not need a toothpaste so just wet your toothbrush in water okay stick your tongue out this is the tip this is the back of the tongue in one motion just brush your tongue and then wash the toothbrush continue wash your toothbrush i call it the brush and wash method so you brush once you wash one do not swivel the brush all over the place you're not only going to be mixing up the bacteria you're going to probably end up vomiting Doctor, why do I brush twice a day? Twice a day, but I still can't remove calculus that is formed within my mouth. Okay. To understand this, let's go a bit in depth into dentistry. When we eat food, the remaining food particles that stick to all around our teeth, together with some bacteria, they form the plaque. Okay. When this plaque is not removed constantly, it hardens to form calculus. Calculus is mineralized hard structures. Okay, so to remove calculus, you will need to go to a dentist to get your scaling done. Scaling in Malay, we call it as chuchigigi. To remove plaque, you need to brush your teeth. So, if I brush properly according to the method that you are teaching me, I don't have your floss, right? Wrong. When you are brushing, you are hitting every part of the teeth except for the part that is in between your teeth. You are not going to be touching that with your brush. So that is why you need to floss. When should I brush my teeth? Okay, I personally would recommend you to brush your teeth twice a day. Firstly, when you wake up. Second, is right before you go to bed. Okay, there are some dentists who would recommend you to wake up, have your breakfast and then brush your teeth but I generally don't do that I can't teach you something I don't do what I do is I wake up, I brush my teeth and have breakfast so you do you, do what you want but brush twice a day please hope you enjoyed my video and I hope this will inspire more of you to brush your teeth twice a day at least if you have any comments or any questions please leave it down in the comment box below and thank you for watching this video. I hope more and more people will actually brush the feet after this. Don't.